my name is Eileen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video for you because it's all about my coolest piece of retro tech, which is my iPod Classic Gen 5. I was very lucky to receive this as a gift from my boyfriend and I just wanted to make a little video about me setting it up and me decorating it and also why I might be using one in 2023 because let's face it, not a lot of people are. And no, I didn't buy it just to make myself look like more of a loser. Don't worry, I can do that just fine on my own. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what possessed me to do this, but I decided to hand write out all of the songs that I want to put on my iPod. And obviously I didn't really finish this list because it's humongous, but I think it'll be a job that'll take me a while in the future and that I can just return to and put songs on whenever I want. The time it took me to hand write all of these songs out in my journal probably could have loaded a couple albums on with, but I still think it turned out kind of cute and it gave me a little game plan and got me really excited to start using my iPod, which is not a sentence I would think anyone would say in 2023. Now I am actually loading on the songs here and I'm not saying that you should do this or that I did this but hypothetically if you were going to for free upload songs you might use a YouTube to mp3 converter and then drag that to your iTunes. But once they're in your iTunes it's still going to take a little bit of cleaning up, you have to reorder the songs, rename some of the songs, put them in their respective albums, and it's generally just like a whole thing. Also you have to make the albums and like add in the artwork, add in the genre, the year, stuff like that, but it's pretty worth it and even though it's a slow process this whole thing is kind of about slowing down and like really cherishing your time i feel like using an ipod is all about just like living a little slower this is me showing you how to sync your songs basically you would just pull up your ipod it should show up in your itunes and then you just check what you want to sync and it should sync for you as long as your ipod is plugged in to your computer Here I am starting the decorating process. I really wanted to make it cute and put a bunch of cute little stickers all over it. And I'm just gonna stop talking here because I really like the sounds of stickers like going onto things. I think it's really satisfying. So I hope you enjoy it as well. Here is the finished iPod with it all decorated. I really love the holographic and sparkly stars. I think they make it look so cute. Now I'm just gonna give you a little tour of my iPod. It has 30 gigabytes on it and there's also some games on it, which I think is cool. I, growing up, did not have one of these. I think it was like just a little too old for my generation. And I know you might be wondering, like, why on earth do you have an iPod? And besides just for the aesthetic, I am a big fan of retro tech and I love all things old Apple tech. And I just like carrying around something that I can't use any social media on. It's literally just for music and I think it's really cool. And I love listening to emo music, which should come as no surprise. Just doing it on an iPod makes it sound so much better in my opinion. And honestly, it was pretty cheap. So if you're thinking about getting one, I highly recommend. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.